god. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. Hello, governor. Hello, governor. Hello. <laughs> um, welcome back. How are you? Oh, I'm fabulous. So today is the last day of school. It's official. It's Aria's first last day of school. School's over. I have two and a half months. What's my job? I don't with no breaks. I think the reality of it is finally starting to set in, but it's okay because I'm prepared and I went to the Dollar Tree. What's up, moms? Who likes the Dollar Tree? Say me! So, I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some, um, like, kind of learning supplies, I guess, learning supplies to hold us over. Um, we're going to Utah for the summer for 4th of July like we did last year, so I got some, like, car ride stuff for that. Just, like, some summer fun, like, activities and play stuff. And then I got some stuff for moi, because mommy deserves some stuff too, and it's only a dollar, so mommy can get a lot of stuff. So I have pre-organized everything into categories. I feel like my camera is lopsided. That's okay, whatever. So I will start first with like the activities. Um, so specifically for the car ride to Utah, which is about like four or five hours. It's about the same that we did to Laguna. It's not like something we've never done. So I'm prepared. But I did pick up some stuff. I got this Seek and Find game. It's on the move road games, just who makes it. And basically, it looks like it's just really just like some stickers and coloring. But they also have like a license plate bingo and some other games that are a little bit outside of for age range and her capabilities. But this was perfect. Um, the second thing that I got was create a stick a scene and I chose the pirate theme I chose the pirate themed one they had a few others like a farm and dinosaurs and then I found all the way in the back like a paper doll kind of thing but I think Arya will be liking them pirates and stuff because pirates are cool um the other thing that I got is this pop out grab bag by Peppa Pig or it's like a Peppa Pig thing it looks like it's like she can make little 3d like standing characters which would be cool she really likes Peppa Pig and she likes the regular like grab bag things that I normally get that you get at like Target or the Dollar Tree so I think she'll like this it feels pretty sturdy which is always a good thing and then the other the two books that I got specifically for the car ride to Utah are the same books that I got last year for her car ride to Utah. Not that I shared that with anybody, but they're these search and smile sticker books. Um, I got the on the go one and the outdoor play. I got two last year, like a barn one and like around the house kind of, and Aria really loved them. Um, she was super crazy about them. So when they had them again, I was super excited. It's basically just a search and find book. So there's stuff to find like on the pages. This sounds so sticky. And then there's also like stickers that go along with it. And then there's like count the eggs in the nest and what fruits are in the picnic basket. So it's interactive and she really, really enjoyed it. I got a couple of workbooks just to help her like stay on top of stuff and stuff that goes along with her IEP for next year. So the first book that I picked up was Letters Learning Sticker Book. Um, so it'll just teach her her different letters, the difference between letters and numbers, that kind of stuff. Because that's one of the big things is they want to teach her the difference between letters and numbers when she sees them. So I got this and it has stickers which she'll like. It's kind of like the search and find but educational. So I got one for letters and I also got one for numbers. They also have them for shapes and colors, but she's pretty good generally with her shapes and colors. I did get her a uh, Princess Sophia Shapes and Patterns learning workbook because it has a lot of tracing in it. And Aria is exceptionally good at tracing. She can trace anything. Like if it has those little dots, she can draw it or trace it. So I thought this would be fun to help her kind of learn how to like 
draw the shapes. And I also got, um, from like Disney Junior along those lines, I got the Alphabet Learning Workbook with Doc McStuffins. She likes Doc McStuffins. And again, it has a lot of tracing and like learning letters, which is a big thing for us. So I went ahead and got that. And then so that she can get a little bit of like religious learning in there, because unfortunately this year our church isn't having a VBS or Vacation Bible School because our children's director is going to Panama over the summer for like two and a half, three weeks, something like that for a mission trip. So, you know, whatever. I'll do it myself. I got her this, um, it's called The Story of Noah Big Sticker Book. Some of the activities are extremely out of her age group, which is why I've been holding off on buying these. I've seen them for a while. They have them with a bunch of different stories like Joseph, Jesus, Daniel, Jonah. Um, actually, there is no Daniel one, but this one looked a little bit closer to her age group and her capabilities. So I picked it up. I figured it'd be fun. We'll see how it goes. And then the last two, like, I'm sorry. The last two like kid book things that I got was the this frozen coloring book and it comes to life. So basically you just like certain pictures in here you can color and then scan them with your tablet and they come to or your phone or whatever you just use the app and they come to life. Um, this one I got at one dollar tree and then at the other dollar tree because I went to two I found this by Crayola which again is a frozen come alive 2.0 it comes with like crayons and stuff so again i guess we could do like a side by side comparison like wow um seems like it'd be fun though the next category is outdoor fun um mostly like toy stuff. stuff sorry this is the only stuff in a bag by the way so the first thing i picked up is this water gun. I have a bunch of like painting projects that I have set aside for her and one of them involves a water gun. So picked that up there. I also got her this pair of children's goggles. I got her like just the eye ones and then I also got a pair that will cover her nose. We've really been watching the bucket list family a lot and they do a lot of swimming and they wear a lot of goggles So she's kind of into that and then she's been using them at her dad's house a little bit So she's been asking about them and showing an interest. So I figured like a couple of dollars if She doesn't use them then that's fine. I also found this cute little bubble thing. It's called gub a bubble Gub a bubble bubbles that last and last and I guess they're like really sturdy bubbles that you can hold in your hand and like stack and stuff so I'll be excited to try these out and then from the same brand as that I got this it's called a bubble storm and it's basically just like a bubble whistle and since she can't really like she has a hard time blowing with the wands but she might like this a little bit better so we'll see bubble solution inside whoa and then the last like play thing that I got well it's three things technically but it'll make a whole set and it's this it's uh the backyard travelers bug catcher play sets so I got three different ones which I realized oh well oh it's all good so I got um this is the first one I picked up it has a little like container and some tweezers and a net and then I got her, this one has a little like, keychain carrier and another pair of tweezers and a magnifying glass. And then this one has another net and this little like wrapper thing. Um, she's not really into bugs, but she is a little bit. Like she likes really pull these now. She's kind of expressing an interest in ladybugs and we have those things in our backyard. So I figured maybe she'd like to try playing with them. I don't know. I had a like science-y bug catcher set like that when I was little and I kind of enjoyed it. So we'll see. The next bit of stuff is kind of just like random stuff. But um, so to start her off, I got these two little pair of socks for her. They're little patriotic socks. Um, 
She really likes holiday socks, so I don't mind buying them for the different holidays because they're only like a dollar. Same thing like if you go to Target. So I picked up some of those. They're cute. She wears them all year. You know, what, what can I say? They're socks. Um, the other thing that I picked up were these pocket tissues with Thomas and friends on them. Ari is going to flip when she sees them. Um, and she can just keep them in her little purse. She does have her own little purse. And it has like a little like chopstick and like her play phone in it. And now she can have some tissues. So I'm really excited to give those to her. And then I also got her this little Crayola sun catcher painting thing. She likes the paint. And what about our sun catcher than the sun? I also have a different sun catcher for her to paint. But we can hang this on like our sliding glass door that goes outside. It'll be really cute. And then I also got her this wood shop kit to build a sailboat. Um, I figured it'd be fun. She can play with it in like the pool afterwards and we can paint it and just, you know, a little activity to keep her entertained. So the last section is the, the mommy section. Ooh. So, so I will start with makeup. Uh, I picked up this e.l.f. blush in the shade Shy and then I dropped it and broke it. So that's... Might as well, it's already broken, right? The next thing I picked up were these e.l.f. shiny eraser blotting sheets. Get a little, you know, oily sometimes, especially in the summer. So these will be good to have in like my purse and the car and stuff. You know, just like people things. So let's finish this off with makeup. Let's finish off these makeup products. Products. So the next thing, let's say, let's stay with the e.l.f. brand. I also picked up this e.l.f. flawless eyeshadow in the tantalizing taupe thing. Um, I like eyeshadow. It's got a bunch of different eyeshadows. It'll be fun to have. And then the last e.l.f. product I got is this all over color stick in the shade Pink Lemonade. I have uh, no idea how to use this. I have no idea what this is, but it seemed like it'd be fun to play with. Uh, it says it's perfect for highlighting. Kind of planned on using it as a blush anyway, so pretty excited. All right, and then from When Wild, I picked up this Enhance and Define Mascara. I don't know, I'm not banking on this working out very well, but I kind of need a new mascara and I figured why not try it again I don't think I'm gonna like it but it's all right and then I also the last like makeup product I picked out is by Beauty Benefits and it's this silky bronzer and I don't think I can't remember like I feel like I've heard of this brand before but it could be because I'm thinking of Benefit Cosmetics but I think it's like a decent brand I don't know. I needed a bronzer. I wanna. I'm trying to experiment with bronzers, bronzer, and I think this would be fun. Good place to start. I don't know. Oil-free formula, so that's good. Lightweight. We'll see. I don't know. Could be crap. And then along some of the same lines, I picked up these foot mask packages. I love these. They're like little like booties that you put on your feet and it makes them soft and fresh and I really like them so I grabbed a couple and then I also got a package of sheet masks I got the retinol one these come in a box at the store it's a two pack I already opened it and used it this is what I got left so <laughs> this is it uh, they're decent they're sheet masks they have retinol in them my face feels soft afterwards I don't know, like, it's a sheet mask. It's a sheet mask. <clears throat> and then I also picked up some hair clips. I'm just kind of running low on hair clips. Like every woman in the world. I also grabbed a loofah, nothing special. It's sparkly, that's cool. I needed a new loofah. You know, whatevs. And then the last two things that I picked up were at the end, ladies and gentlemen is this book it's called sisters of heart and snow it was originally at target apparently i don't know i've seen this around like other places in the dollar tree and i read it a little bit at first i thought it was like a snow white retelling it's not it's 
not, hold on, I'm gonna reread it. Right, right, okay. So it's about like two sisters, like one's like good with her parents and one's bad with her parents and like deal with some stuff. I don't know, it's a dollar. I've gotten some really, really good books at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, so we'll see. And then the last thing that I picked up was this steering wheel cover. Um, I don't really like steering wheel covers. I don't really want a steering wheel cover, but my car, my wheel, steering wheel, in my car gets really, 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 really hot in the summer. I mean, like, it's only 115 degrees outside, so I don't see why my steering wheel would burn me when I touch it, but it does, and it really sucks. So, I just broke down this year, and I bought this. It's a little cheap, cheap one. Like, cause I don't plan on leaving it on forever, but, you know, some tie-dye for the summer seemed like some fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little dollar store haul. I hope it inspired you to go shop at the dollar store and help the economy. That was sarcasm. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, hey, 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 you. Hey, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see all my videos and hit the like button and do like all that stuff share it with your friends because I would really honestly like to make this like into my career I totally love that oh my God. also I just like the support and connecting with people so there's that especially because it's not face to face because I don't do very well with face to face For some reason I can talk to inanimate objects better I don't know I don't know